Super Ball. Item number SCP-018. Object class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-018 is to be contained in its specialty metal restraint inside of a 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter sealed box lined with heavy synthetic padding. The sealed box is then submerged in the center of the 10 meters by 10 meters by 10 meters polyethylene holding tank. If SCP-018 is to break free from the holding box, the polyethylene-based goo will slow down kinetic activity enough for proper retrieval by containment personnel. Personnel entering SCP-018's holding chamber are to wear specialized plating found inside of SCP-018 observation and a breathing apparatus before being lowered into the polyethylene tank. If SCP-018 is loose outside of the polyethylene tank, personnel are advised to secure themselves in a separate room and close doorways or hatches to isolate SCP-018 until containment teams arrive. Description SCP-018 has the appearance of a super ball made by the Whammo Company in 1969. It is 6 centimeters in diameter and colored red. Found when the blank company was hired to clean out a warehouse that had Whammo merchandise in it, SCP-018 was noted to be able to bounce with extreme height, at first thought to be a pleasant child's toy. SCP-018 was able to bounce with over 200% efficiency. That is, if dropped 1 meter, it would bounce 2, then 4 then 8, then 16. The ball soon became a dangerous projectile, reaching speeds estimated at over 100 km per hour and damaging property and injuring five in the city of blank. It came to a rest after several days in the nearby lake of blank and was retrieved by SCP personnel. Due to the speed of the object and the total surprise by its victims, no cover-up story was required or initiated. Document number 018-4, message 205-blank. Blank. I hope everything is well. The reason I write to you is because I believe I have found a more effective method for retrieving newer escaped SCP objects. Yes, I realize we haven't had any progress in reverse engineering whatever allows this thing to defy the laws of thermodynamics, but we have come up with a very effective method for integrating one of those new SCP-A5 armor suits with this. Just hear me out. We implant it into the bottom of a boot, rig up a little bit of a mechanical device, and ta-da, the suit is now capable of jumping well over a building. Also, if the wearer has their foot against something they want dead, well, let's just say it delivers a hell of a kick. All I need is permission to modify one of the pre-existing SCP-A5 suits and you'll be able to actually capture blank, plus any other escaped SCP objects. Trust me, when have I let you down in the past? Dr. Blank. Document number 018-6. Letter to Dr. Blank. Dr. Blank. Upon assignment, Agent blank, was issued your modified SCP-A5 armor in retrieving SCP- blank, and the results are mixed. Agent blank was able to place the blank collar onto SCP- blank, chase it through the Amazon and restrain it by dismemberment. However, due to a malfunction of your little mechanical device, he was launched almost a mile into the air and suffered two broken legs, seven broken ribs, a missing arm, and a skull fracture upon hitting the water of Lake blank on the way back down. You will fix that before I authorize your armor for common use. Document number 018-11. Message 205-blank. Blank. Don't worry, it's fixed. But I have some more ideas. If I can be granted the use of some water from SCP-006, SCP-blank, and possibly SCP-blank, I can deliver you a set of SCP-A5 armor and an agent that can capture any, if not all, rogue or unattained SCPs. All I'm waiting on is your approval.